Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be uh, trying to demonstrate, hopefully it shows up, the carbide tipped blade. Yeah, well, there you go, it's a little bit better. It's very, very hard, so. This is a blade that is extremely choppy. So, let me try and wipe the camera lens real quick. See if that does anything. All right, so we have this blade, which is, again, pretty beat up. You can see there's big chunks. So essentially what I'm going to try and do is show you what this even does. And it doesn't look like it's doing anything, I know. It's incredible, this thing is, it, so essentially what it is, this is gonna be a harder material than any of the knives that you're gonna have. And what it is, it's got two right angles, here and here. And the idea is, you take your blade, right? And you wanna match it with the angle of your knife. And then with the edge, so lay it flat and then slightly lift up on the back so that the front end is cornered on there and you're dragging little bits off. And there, I'm just doing it on one side. This is my Smith & Wesson uh, throwaway knife, basically. So what you're doing is when you have a, a knife sharpener of any kind where it's you know, the V style where you take your knife, put it in between, pull it, and it drags, and you know, pieces of metal come out from it. Same concept, except you have one piece and you get to determine and have a lot more control over the actual, you know, motion of the knife. This is square, so you're thinking, wow, that's uh -huh. limited, but you end up being able to, uh -huh. you know, get a lot better control. But the idea is that you're gonna wanna have this sharp. You can see I'm starting to get a burr right here. And that's when you flip. Burr's already gone. Now there's a burr forming on this side already. And you do have to be careful with this because you can end up taking off more metal than you want. So if you have harder steel, you don't need to go as hard on it. If you have, you know, cheaper steel, uh, then you're gonna wanna go harder on it. So again, the company that this is, is Corona. I'd recommend it, I love it. I've been using this all day for the past two days at home on my own knives and at work on my circular bearing, uh, milled bearing that's made into a blade. So, and it works amazing, honestly. I uh, got this for basically like 25 bucks essentially because I got it with another sharpener that I purchased, this one, which at first I was like, this is a piece of crap, but this is an amazing sharpener, okay? And the reason I say that is because diamond doesn't wear like a whetstone you know, and the strop, so it's a strop that has material already on it. However, I would recommend getting some material. 
these are removable because these are replaceable. And I'm sure there's different grits you can get. I didn't look too far into it, but magnetic one side. It has the, uh, got yourself some instructions, this side inside of here. I just have some more uh, I don't even know what you would call this technically it's like buffing solution or not solution uh, compound this side just says coarse material it's gonna kill you in the state of California blah 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 but this has 20 degrees so your knife Just like that. And then you slide it across. And you're golden. Then you go to the fine, which is 20 degrees as well. Same thing now. And then you just, oh, it's magical. See, just like that. Super easy, anybody can do it. It's super small. This is a little heavier than the other ones you're gonna see out on the market. A lot of them are like really light plastic. They're hollow. Some have, uh, you know, I, I do kind of like the ones that have the, uh, the flint rod, the steel rod in there, but this is literally just what it is. It comes with a, uh, a little rubber cap you could put on there just to keep it from cutting shit just because it's two right angles right here and right here. And it's just a piece of stainless steel, possibly just uh, electrically welded to this. So, but I would recommend getting one, guys. Honestly, I'm going to probably get a couple more of these of this brand. Uh, haven't tried any other brands. This is just the one that was the cheapest, um, came the quickest, and is just bare bones what I was looking for, you know, so... Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, and then hit the bell icon to get every update when I upload a new video um, or post any type of content. Uh, like and share. Um, if you guys want to uh, participate in the giveaways, you have to be subscribed, comment, like, share. You know, get some friends to, to watch the videos, guys. I mean, a lot of guys, believe it or not, do like knives. I mean, what's not to like? You know, you could like watermelons, and you could like this knife. You could like Damascus, and you could like this knife. You could like metallurgy, and you could like this knife. You know, I have knives where you could like precious metals. You could have a knife that has silver embedded in it. You could have, and this is just a cheapy little Walmart uh, Ozark trail knife that I just like the copper and ruby red uh, epoxied handle. So I have a little Illuminati uh, symbol on there. It's really hard to see because I did a crap job doing the epoxy pour. There's bubbles, but uh, I make stuff like this better quality now, obviously over time, but uh, stay tuned. I'll keep making videos, daily content. Love you guys as always. Stay sharp.